uh, you know you sounding like you've been blowing or smoking. Uh, mouth all twisted. Man say you're up in church and you sweating. Wasn't even playing the drums. Had to wouldn't come back because you know you were too much of a sinner. We all sinners. That's why we all need to go to church. You need to go back. Just no, don't have right. a hit before you go in. You're right. <laughs> go ahead, sir. Uh, you think he's getting high? I don't want to falsely accuse the man, yes, but I'm judge. seeing and hearing signs, huh? Yes, I do, Judge. I yeah, you think you're doing coke it. or crystal meth or meth. huh? Meth. Okay, meth. All right. Why do you believe that? His uh, symptoms, his things you see. Yes, Your Honor, and one of the times while I was waiting on him at the shop, uh, they said Kyle was in the bathroom, so I waited 5, 10, 15 minutes and no Kyle. And I'm seeing people running up and down the stairs, running out of the bathroom, so I go over toward the bathroom, and just through the crack of the door, I'm looking and I'm seeing Kyle doing one of these. I know what it sounds like, and I know what it smells like after it burns. I haven't always been a choir boy. And... Uh, after that, I left him. I didn't come as often as I wanted to come to check on my automobile. But after I seen that, I kind of knew why things were Well, I'm slow. glad you're corroborating my suspicion, because a lot of folks think I'm accusing folks for no reason, and how would he know that, and how can he? I know I've been around a 1,000 of them. And so I know I don't know much about crystal meth. That's why I said crack or cocaine or what have you. But I knew you was getting high off something. I don't know who you think you're <laughs> kidding. <laughs>